season three of The Mandalorian is here, so let's talk about it. I was going to do just a review of episode eight, but I've decided I'm going to talk about this season as a whole. But I will talk about episode eight first. So I have done some videos about some of the other episodes. I haven't done reviews of all the episodes, so I will cover that a little bit later on. But I really enjoyed this finale. It's the last two of my favorite episodes of the season. I think they were really good. And I just, I loved how everything came together in this episode. I especially loved how they retook Mandalore and Bo-Katan, Grogu and Din. They got to fight alongside each other and the force field thing, with the force that Grogu was doing to protect Bo-Katan and Din was beautiful. I love that scene. All of the fights, I've got to say, the fights in this season have been the best out of any seasons of The Mandalorian or the season of The Book of Boba Fett. Definitely, by far, I think. The way the armourer was fighting in this episode, oh god, she is so good at fighting. Like, I just thought that the fighting was so good. And, yeah, and the fact that Bo, the fact that Din adopted Grogu in this episode really, oh, I, I really nearly cried. I, I thought it was quite emotional and, yeah, I loved it. And I do think we'll see more of Bo. And I do actually... I was unsure whether we were going to get season four. I knew obviously we were going to get, we're getting the Dave Filoni movie because they're so happy at the end and it ends. I think if we got rid of the scene where we kind of hint at what they're doing next with the New Republic, I feel like this could have been the end, but it's not obviously. I didn't want it to be end because season four has basically been confirmed. I've already written it, so like, but I'm looking forward to it and obviously really looking forward to the Dave Filoni movie. I just loved the fighting in this episode and I thought it was really good to see more and the guards from The Last Jedi being in the last two episodes, I loved them, they were so good. Maybe not quite as good as they used in The Last Jedi but I still really enjoyed it. I have to say I don't think the season is as bad as everybody's saying it but yes there is some problems. I'd give this film, a, I would give the show a three and a half out of five though. I think it's a seven out of ten. I don't love the first season of the mandalorian i'm gonna put my hands up there i do think it's probably the worst season of the mandalorian but it is nowhere near as bad as the book of boba fett i would rather watch this season than the book of boba fett any day i do think that this season struggled to kind of have a whole story i knew it did but i feel like there was a bo katan spin-off within season three and they needed to be separated for it to be a perfect season i feel like you needed to kind of take out some of the bo -Katan stuff bo -Katan being in din's story isn't bad but i think it got a bit overcrowded and it wasn't quite you couldn't quite tell who the, was the protagonist at certain points i have to say the lore in this season and the stuff the fact that we got to see more mandalorians and the fact that we've got lots of different voices with the directing like bryce dallas howard the guy that directed the final i can't name he's such a good director and he just directed these episodes so well yes sometimes the writing has been a little bit sloppy from John Favreau but I can forgive a bad I can forgive bad writing I can I will forgive bad writing but I thought the way we explored Mandalore in this season it's just something I really wanted to see I really wanted to see them exploring Mandalore and that's what we did yeah, I think there are some things and I think there are a couple filler episodes that didn't necessarily be in there. But I don't think The Mandalorian is a perfect show. I didn't think the first two seasons were perfect. Far from it. I still enjoyed the season and it is my least favourite, probably. Season two is obviously my favourite. There's a question between this one and season one. It is probably my least favourite. But I love it more than The Book of Boba Fett any day. And, oh, I hate The Book of Boba Fett, so, you know, it's not really compliment i saw some people got disappointed in the final episode because people like boba or thrawn or so couldn't show up i also i don't really i don't get disappointed if there's not cameos because i don't see if there's not a cameo i'm not annoyed because cameos aren't a story so i love how we're building thrawn up i think it's just great the fact that the heir to the empire as was said in the ahsoka trailer we're really really building thrawn up as this big bad and somebody that the mandalorian should be afraid of and just everybody currently alive in the star wars universe should be afraid of i think the episode with dr passion was really good and the girl who she was really good i kind of wish she was in a few more episodes but yeah she was really good the pacing this season was a little bit naff and the writing sometimes let it down. But I still had a joyful time with this season. 
it's still up there with Disney Plus shows. The Mandalorian hasn't gone down on like my TV show ranking really. I still really enjoyed the season. I loved how it added to the lore and that's kind of what I have to say. This season has actually made me a bit more excited for the Dave Filoni movie. Do I think that Grogu and Din should have reunited so quickly? Probably not. I think maybe that should have happened at the end of the third season and he should have done a season on his own. I know why they did that because they can sell more toys if they have him in there and you know marketing reasons but they probably story-wise could have had a season without him and it might have been better but at the end of the day I still enjoyed the season. I still give the season a 7 out of 10. Are people going to get enough of this? Maybe. I don't care. I love Star Wars, I love all area, I love all parts of Star Wars, sequels, originals, and prequels. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have new videos coming soon. I have a little vlog. I'm gonna start doing like weekly vlogs on this channel, hopefully, alongside my movie content on Sunday. I have a very exciting video themed around the Batman releasing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on a new one soon.